Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to work with the error class and how to deal with a fatal error in a much more elegant way than you would with PHP 5. Alright, so what we're going to do here is we're going to create a class and we're going to call it user. You can call it whatever you'd like, this is just for, uh, just for demonstrating how we can handle fatal errors. So we're going to create a constructor using double underscore construct all right and all we're gonna do here is just echo out and we're gonna say user construct and let's also put let's put a line break here as well all right so that's the construct that'll run when the object is instantiated uh, whoops I forgot the function Okay, and then we're going to create a, a destructor. So we'll say public function double underscore destruct. And this will run when the object is finished. So we'll say echo. And let's do user destruct. Okay, we're also going to add a, a line break here as well. Okay, so we have a constructor and a destructor. Now down here, outside of the class, we're going to create a try catch block. So we'll say uh, try catch And then right here, we're going to instantiate a user. So we'll say user equals new user. All right, and then for our catch right here, we're going to say exception E. And then in here, we'll go ahead and echo E and then get message. Alright, so let's try to run that. Okay, so that there's no errors, nothing happens, nothing wrong. We go ahead, create the object, it runs the constructor, it runs the destructor. So, what we're going to do now is create a function outside of the class. Okay, we'll just call it run. Alright, and then we're going to, that's going to take in an object, and then we're going to say, object hello all right and then down in our try block we're gonna say run and let's just pass in null okay if we go ahead and save that and reload you can see that we get a fatal error and it's saying that um, member function hello on null okay because we're passing in null so what we want to do is we want to handle this more elegantly, okay? And one reason is because once this error sets off, it just it shuts everything else down, okay? Our resources can't close properly. That's why we don't see the destruct anymore. All right, so what we can do here is instead of using this exception, we're going to use the new error class. So we're going to say error, and then in here, we can customize this to look however we want. Let's put a strong tag. Let's say error. All right, let's save that and reload. Okay, actually, you know what I want to do is uh, I want to put a line break after the message. Okay, so now you can see that our user we get the constructor and then we get the error we can customize however we want it to and then it ends up running the destructor as well alright so to, to be able to do this with fatal errors you need to pass in the error right here the error class instead of exception because if we do that reload okay so for one it's not going to use our code here and then it's not going to allow the the resources to close correctly okay so you want to use error 
and we can make this look even better if we want we can include things like the line so we'll say on line and oops and here we'll say e get line okay so now we get error on line 13 which is correct and we can even use the file name if we want we'll say on line whatever and we'll say in and then in here we'll put e get file reload and now it says error on line 13 in and then it gives us the path and the file all right and of course you can make this look a little better you can add styles or whatever you'd like all right so it's a much more elegant way to handle fatal errors and if we want we can go to the bottom here we can use finally and we'll just we'll say finally whoops okay and then finally we'll run after the error but still before uh, before the destructor runs okay so that's how we can catch fatal errors